Rachel Clayton last updated 0500, October 8, 2017 Countdown Marketing Manager Bridget Lamont says, Customers aren't loyal because convenience always comes first. There is little to no supermarket loyalty in the New Zealand shoppers' psyche, and stores have to compete on more than price, according to one of the major supermarket chains. Countdown's marketing manager Bridget Lamont said New Zealand had one of the highest rates of cross-shopping in the world. Over 80% of people would say they've shopped at more than one supermarket over the course of a week, Lamont said. Countdown's ban on single-use plastic bags by the end of 2018 is a move in response to changing customer behavior. In a bid to create a new story for its brand, Countdown has hired Yorenzi as its creative strategist. Read more virtual reality supermarket to tests shopper behavior New World Supermarket asks for feedback on plastic bags Countdown to ban plastic bags stint 15 years ago, the customer had abundant attention and supermarkets easily pushed their brand on people through limited channels, Lamont said. But social media had given the customer power. Today, it's an environment of unlimited distribution with brands really having much less control over communication than they used to and very, very scarce customer attention spans. It really is a world where brands like us need to think quite differently about the way we communicate. Countdown's announcement to ban single-use plastic bags by the end of next year may be a testament to the power of customer feedback. The chain's general manager of corporate affairs, James Walker, said two years of customer research, changing behavior, and social media feedback led to the ban. We recognized that customers want to trust us, he said. We are focusing on doing the right thing and taking action on what customers care about. Food and Grocery Council Chief Executive Catherine Rich said Facebook meant customers knew they could get whatever they wanted, whenever they wanted it, from wherever they wanted. It makes the supply chain incredibly complex, she said. Lamont said there were drawbacks from being on social media but it meant supermarkets could listen to customers about what they wanted. Price is one very dominant decision criteria for people. They will choose where they shop firstly based on location and secondly around price. But she said price wasnt everything. The whole concept of purpose is really important and we know that consumers increasingly want clarity on what a brand's purpose is. Who are you and what do you bring to me and my life is important in consumers' mind. Grocery products and supermarkets were the fifth and sixth most complained about industries, respectively, according to this year's Commerce Commission's Consumer Issues Report. In the year to June, the Consumer Watchdog received 98 complaints about foodstuffs brand supermarkets, which include Pock and Save a New World, and 66 complaints about Progressive Enterprises stores, Countdown, Supervalue and Fresh Choice. The report said price was the most complained about topic and Lamont agreed it was something supermarkets couldn't get away from. But requests for a broader range of health and speciality foods were also skyrocketing. More options for people who have certain dietary intolerances is growing enormously and we often hear calls for, can I have a better range of gluten-free or dairy-free, and we're actively growing that category. Lamont said there were people who had to eat differently for dietary intolerances but there was also a general trend towards alternative foods. There is the cohort of people who chose to make changes to their diet, like using almond milk, not cow's milk. And maybe we would not have known about that if we didn't have Facebook stuff.